Nicola, it's only 21 seats, we'll win them back. I'm not going in, you daft bampa. It's them over there. Northern Ireland, laughing at us, the DUP. Now, why would they be doing that? They've stolen our funder, we marry. And our regional funding. Before the last general election, we were proud to be the most overfunded part of the UK. Well, the only place in the entire country with free hospital parking. Yeah, but now they've got their Tory billions. They'll be rolling up to the Royal Victoria in Belfast, staying all day, doing a big shop. We've got to find a way to put Scotland back on top of the pile. How can we do that when we've lost a third of our seats? Shut up, eh, Mario. Don't need reminding of that. But perhaps you're right. Maybe the time has come for a consolidated Scottish power base. You don't mean a coalition with the Scottish Tories? You can't be the SNP and be seen to agree with other people. And we're going to have to find another canny plan to get us back on the gravy train. Two Highland whips, please. Aye, we need something Scottish that the English like that they want more of. Then we'll be top of the small Celtic country pops again. We. Hogmanay? Everybody likes Hogmanay. Aye. The Scotland owns New Year's Eve. The burn of cheap whisky. The two lines of old Lang Syne that people know. Problem is, Hogmanay is just one day a year. If only Hogmanay could be every day. That's it. We'll call it Operation Groundhog Mini. Brilliant. Get a hold of the fellas mending Big Ben and tell them to fix it so that when New Year comes, it never stops chiming. Oh, hang on, what about that New Year's Eve show, Jules Holland's Hoot Nanny? Those poor souls will be trapped in that studio listening to Boogie Woogie Piano forever. Hardly. I record that show in August. No way. 